Gonat Series of Dangers. Series of Dangers. Translation. O oh, Rishi Kesha, master of the senses and lord of lords, you have released your mother Devaki, who was long imprisoned and distressed by the envious King Kangsa, and myself and my children from a series of constant dangers. <coughs> so this is the position of devotees. That Devaki, who happens to be the mother of Krishna, she is not ordinary woman, uh, who can become the mother of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, uh, the most advanced devotee, so that Krishna has agreed to become her son. In his previous life, the husband and wife, they uh, underwent severe hostilities. And when Krishna appeared before them and wanted to give them benediction, <coughs> uh, they wanted a son-like God. So where can be another person who is equal to God, that is not possible. God means there is no equal, there is no greater. Asama Urdhva. That is God. Uh, God. There cannot be any competition that you are God, I am God, he is God, he is God. No. These are dogs. They are not God. God means without competition. One. God is one. Nobody is greater, asamartha, nobody is greater than him, nobody is equal to him. Everyone is lower. Ekala, Isha, Krishna, Arsha, uh, Only master is Krishna, God, and everyone's servant. Never mind, even if he is Brahma, Vishnu, or um, Shiva, big, big demigods, and what to speak of others. Siva Vedanchi Nuto, in the Shastra it is said that he is offered respect by Lord Shiva and Lord Brahma. They are the topmost demigods. There are demigods. Above the human being, there are demigods. As we are human beings, above the lower creatures, lower animals, Similarly, above us, there are demigods. And the most important demigod is Lord Brahma. Lord, Lord Brahma is the creator of this universe. And Lord Shiva is the destroyer of this universe. And Lord Vishnu is the maintainer. Lord Vishnu is Krishna himself. So for the maintenance of this material world, there are three gunas, Radha-guna, Raja-guna, Tama-guna. So each one of them has taken charge of one department. So Lord Vishnu has taken the department of Satoguna, and Lord Brahma has taken the department of raja and Lord Shiva has taken the department of tama they are not under the influence of these gunas. Just like as the superintendent of jail, he is not a prisoner. He is controlling an officer. Similarly, Lord Shiva, Lord Vishnu, Lord Brahma, although they are controlling each department, they are not under the controlling department. We may not commit mistake. So, <coughs> Rishikesha, Krishna is the supreme controller. Rishik, Rishik means senses. 
So we are enjoying our senses, uh, but ultimately uh, the uh, controller is Krishna. Uh, suppose this is my hand. I am claiming it is my hand. I shall give you a good feast on you. I am very much proud. But I am not controller. The controller is Krishna. If he, if he withdraws the power of the activity of your arm, you become paralyzed. Uh, although you are claiming it is my hand, I shall use it. But when it is paralyzed, you cannot do anything. Therefore, I may have possessed this hand by the grace of Krishna, but I am not the controller. That is Krishna consciousness. Uh, therefore, a sane man will think that ultimately if this hand is to be controlled by Krishna, then it is meant for Krishna. This is the common sense, understand. I am claiming that it is my hand, this is my leg, this is my ear. Even children say, you ask the children, what is this? It is my hand. But we may claim, but actually it is not our hand. It is given. Uh, or because I wanted to use my hands in so many ways, Krishna has given all lives. You take this hand, use it. So it is gift of Krishna. Therefore, a sane man is always conscious that whatever I have got in my position, first of all this body and senses, they are actually not mine. I have given uh, all this position uh, for utility. So if ultimately everything belongs to Krishna, why it is not utilized for Krishna? That is Krishna consciousness. Hmm. That is Krishna consciousness. That is intelligence. Uh, uh, if I am given all these things for my use, for my sense gratification, but ultimately it belongs to Krishna, everyone is part and parcel of Krishna. So everyone's senses are also Krishna's. So when, when these senses are utilized for Krishna's service, that is perfection of life. And so long it is utilized for my sense gratification, it is maya. Therefore, bhakti means rishi kena rishi kesa sevanam bhakti ruchi ruchi. Rishi kena, by the senses, this rishi kesa, sevanam, when you serve Rishikesha, the really master of the senses, uh, that is called bhakti. Uh, a very simple description, definition of bhakti. Uh, <clears throat> Rishikena, Rishikesha Sevana. Rishikesha Sevana. Not Rishik Sevana. Rishik means senses. So, when senses are used, for sense gratification, that is moya. And when senses are used for the gratification of the master of the senses, that is called bhakti. Very simple definition. Anyone can understand. Uh, so generally in this material world, everyone is using the senses for sense gratification. That's all. That is their bondage. That is maya, illusion. Uh, and when he comes to Krishna consciousness, purified, when he understands that actually these senses are meant for satisfying Krishna, then he is liberated person. Mukta, Mukta Purush, liberated person. Ihaja Saharir Dasi, Karmana Manasabhacha. When one comes to this position, that my senses are meant for uh, serving the master of the senses, Rishikesha. The master of the senses are, uh, is sitting within your heart. 
in the Bhagavad Gita it is said, Sarvasya chaham ridi sannivishta. I am seated in everyone's heart. Matasmiti jnanam apuhananj. From me, remember, remember knowledge and forgetfulness is coming. So, why that? Because Krishna is so merciful. If I want to use my senses in a certain way, not my senses, it is Krishna's given. So Krishna gives the chance, all right, utilize it. Suppose I have got tongue. If I want, Krishna, I want to eat stool. I want to test too. Yes, Krishna will say, yes, you can take this body of hog and eat stool. The Master is there, Krishna. Therefore Krishna says, mottasmiti jnanam apaharanj. He gives you the body, uh, reminds you, my dear living entity, you wanted to eat stool, now you have got a proper body. Now utilize, here is stool also. Similarly, if you want to become demigod, that also Krishna gives you chance. Anything. There are eight million four hundred forms of life. If you want to engage your senses in any type of body, Krishna is giving you. Come on, here is the body you take. But by using our senses, uh, ultimately we become senseless. <coughs> Therefore Krishna says, sarva-dharmān paritajya māme kaṁsāna. Uh, don't do like this. Uh, your senses are meant for uh, serving me. Uh, so you are misusing it. By misusing you are being entrapped in different types of body. Therefore, to get relief from this tedious uh, business of accepting one body and giving it up, again another body, and anything another, to continue this material existence, if you give up this process of sense gratification and surrender unto me, then you are saved. This is Krishna consciousness. Oh. So, at the present moment, our senses are contaminated. I am thinking I am America. So my senses should be utilized for the service of my country, my society, my nation, big, big leaders, big, big, so many things. Uh, the real concept is that I am America. So my senses are American senses. Uh, so it must be utilized for America. Similarly, Indian thinking, uh, others are thinking, mm. but none of them do know it that senses belong to Krishna. This is ignorance. No intelligence. Uh, they are thinking for the time being uh, that these senses, uh, upadhi, designate American senses, uh, Indian senses, uh, African senses. <coughs> no, this is karmaya. It is covered. Uh, therefore, bhakti means sarvapādhi vinirmuktam. When your senses will be uncontaminated with all these diseases, that is the beginning of bhakti. If I think I am American, why shall I take Krishna consciousness? It is Hindu God. But that is foolishness. Uh, if I think I am Mohammedan, I am Christian, then you are gone. But if we purify the senses that I am a soul, the Supreme Spirit soul is Krishna, I am part and parcel of Krishna, therefore it is my duty to serve Krishna, then you become free immediately. Immediately. You are no more American, Indian, or African, or this or that. You are Krishna, Krishna conscious. That is what. Therefore, uh, Kunti Devi says, Rishikesha, 
My dear Krishna, you are the master of the senses. And for the sense gratification, we are fallen in this material condition of life, different varieties of life. Uh, so we are suffering. In the suffering to the extreme, even one becomes Krishna's mother because this is material world. She is also put into suffering. But to speak of others. Uh, Devaki is so advanced that uh, she has become the mother of Krishna. Uh, but he still he is put into difficulties. Uh, and difficulties by whom? By his brother, Kongs. Uh, so this world is like that. Try to understand. Even you become Krishna's mother, and even your brother, who is very uh, nearest relative, uh, so he, he, the world is such, jealous, that if one's personal interest is hampered, uh, everyone will be ready to give you trouble. <laughs> this is the one. Everyone, even if his brother, even his father, what to speak of others? Uh, Kalena. Kala means jealous. This material world is jealous, envious. I am envious of you, you are envious of me. me. This is our business. This is our business. Therefore, this Krishna consciousness movement is for such person who is no more jealous, who is no more envious. Perfect person. Dharma projita koita vayatra parama nirma sananam satam vastava vastu vidyama. Those who are jealous and envious, they are within this material world. And those who are not jealous, they are in the spiritual world. Just a simple thing. You test yourself. Whether I am jealous, envious, of my other associates, friends, uh, everything. Then I am in the material world. And if I am not jealous, then I am in the spiritual world. Anyone can test. There is no question of whether I am spiritually advanced or not. You can test yourself. Bhakti parishanu bhava virakti annatasyat. Just like if you are eating, you will understand whether you are satisfied where our hunger is satisfied, you haven't got to take certificate from others. Similarly, if you test yourself, whether you are jealous, whether you are envious, then you are in the material. And if you are not jealous, if you are not envious, then in the spiritual world. Huh. Then you can serve Krishna very nice. If you are not jealous, because power jealous, envious has begun began from Krishna, just like the Mahavadi. Uh, why Krishna shall be God? I am, I am also God. I am also. So this is the beginning of material life, uh, to become envious of Krishna. Why Krishna shall be enjoyed? Uh, uh, I shall be enjoyed. enjoyed. Uh, why Krishna shall enjoy the gopis? I shall become uh, Krishna and enjoy, uh, make a society of gopis and enjoy. Uh, this is Maya. Uh, nobody can be in Jaya. Krishna therefore says, Bhoktanam Jagad. See, Krishna is the only in Jaya. And if we supply ingredients for his enjoyment, that is our perfection of life. And if we want to imitate Krishna, that I shall become an God, I shall become an imitator in Jaya, then you are in the mind. Uh, simply, our business is uh, just like the gopis' life. Uh, Krishna is enjoying, and they are supplying the ingredients of enjoyment. Yes, uh, this is bhakti. Uh, we are meant for uh, Krishna is supplying the servant and master. The servant is being supplied all the necessities by the master. But the servant's duty 
is to serve the master. That's all. Ego bahunangju vidudhati kaman nitya nityanam chitana chitana. These are the bathing in front. Uh, Krishna is supplying you immense. All the necessities apply. There is no scarcity. There is no economic problem. You simply try to serve Krishna, then everything is complete. Uh, because it is the case. Uh, there is so much. If Krishna desires, there may be ample supplies. Uh, just like in your country, there is ample supplies. In other country, I went to Switzerland, everything is imported, no supply. The supply is only snow. <laughs> Take as much snow as you like. You, like. <laughs> you see? Similarly, everything is under the control of Krishna. Uh, if you become devotee, then there is no snow supply, simply food supply. And if you don't become devotee, be covered with snow, that's all. <laughs> covered with cloud. Everything is under Krishna's control. Uh, so actually there is no scarcity. The scarcity is Krishna consciousness. So if you become Krishna conscious, then everything is ample. There is no scarcity. This is the power. Tayarishi <coughs> And yet we say, Tayarish and Jatharishi Kesha Khalina Diva. The world is full of dangers. But devakis, again, Kunti Devi says, but uh, because devaki is your devotee, uh, you saved her from the distresses offered by her envious brother. As soon as the brother heard that my sister's son Eighth son of my sister will kill me. Oh, he was ready even immediately to kill Devaki. Uh, so he was pacified by Devaki's husband. Uh, it is the duty of the husband to give protection. Yeah, my dear brother-in-law, why you are envious to your sister? Uh, after all, your sister will not kill you. Her son will kill you. That is the problem. So I shall deliver all the sons to you, then you can do whatever you like. Why you are killing this innocent girl, <coughs> newly married, she is your younger sister, just like your daughter, you should give her protection. What are you are doing this? So Kansu became pacified. He believed in the words of uh, Vasudeva that he will deliver all the sons, sons and if you like, can kill. He thought, let me save the present situation. Uh, after all, uh, later on, when uh, Kansa gets a nephew, he may forget this enviousness. But he uh, is never, never to forget. Yeah. He killed all the sons and, and kept them in prison. Suchārpita, bodhya, atichiram, atichiram meant for a long time. Uh, so, you are saved. Uh, Devaki was saved after all. Similarly, if we take the position of Devaki and Kunti, Kunti just like with her sons, Pancha Pandav, five Pandav, uh, after she became widow, uh, the whole plan was, Dhritarashtas, how to kill these children of my younger brother. Because by chance I was blind. So I could not get the throne of the kingdom. My younger brother got it. Now he is dead. At least my sons, they should get the throne. Uh, that was his policy, Dhritarashtra's policy. Uh, I could not get. Uh, this is material propensities. Uh, I shall be happy. My um, sons shall be happy. My community shall be happy. My uh, nation shall be happy. These are extended selfishness. Nobody is thinking Krishna, how Krishna will be happy. Every man is thinking in his own terms. How I shall be happy? How my children shall be happy? My community shall be happy? My society shall be happy? My nation shall be happy? This is the struggle for existence. Everybody is fine. 
Uh, this is material existence. Uh, nobody is thinking how Krishna will be happy. Uh, and therefore, this Krishna consciousness is be sublime. Try to understand uh, from Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, hmm. and Rishikena, Rishikesha, Sevana, and try to engage your senses for the service of the master of the senses, then you'll be happy. Thank you very much.